Oh. Before we begin the fourth episode of Quater Mass, uh, I forgot about this. I'd like to say that in our opinion, it is not suitable for children or for those of you who may have a nervous disposition. Still a PG though. Yeah. <laughs> this was this was the fifties. Yeah. <laughs> Harry could watch this probably. Uh, no, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> That's really, that's interesting that, like, you know, halfway through the video. Yeah, it's only so part four. <laughs> trying to make it more scary. To be whatever. fair, that image of Ward last episode coming down the stairs covered in yeah, slack that'll, is that'll quite horrible. Almost zombified. Yeah. Before you know it's a thing. Poison. Yeah. yeah. And you know, it's black and white, it could be blood. Because yeah. it's not. I, I actually <laughs> thought it was until they said it wasn't blood. Yeah. Same when I watched it the first time. In Whitehall, to an inquiry into the running of this establishment. That's why I think it's in black and white that makes it almost scary. <laughs> yeah, that's what I found with a lot when of things. You know, it being in black and white sort of adds to it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Like, with it, pretty much everything. Mm. I have a make show. It's going to be in black, black and white. white. I don't care what it is, it's going to be in black and white. The first to be completed. One of his companions finds a way into the dome. When he emerges, he is covered with black corrosive slime. Like, you don't know that that's black. Yeah. At least most of the imagination. Yeah. Poisonous gases of hell. Life could exist there, and the birth until the time came when... Only one of the moons of Saturn. 800 million miles. Petition well shows some Saturnian on the way. <laughs> Almost certainly air pack. No, not Saturnian. Saturnite. Saturnite. Made in the sun. Workshops, wasn't it? And kept in readiness. A journalist, some pretended that you wanted to speak to him. Is that correct? Yes. And I do want to speak to him. I've been trying to get him all on. What do you know about the project of Witherton Flats? Nothing. You've never been there? No. No, I have. <gasps> it's. I've heard of it, of course. I mean, this is the one that you... <laughs> Synthetic food. It uh, hardly seems like my line of country, silly. Well, it looks so different. I'm a man of one time. Yeah. Of course I remember. Yes, but hold on, one thing at a time, sir. We were talking about... Yeah, I suppose if you add the facial hair. Yes, of course. Wow. Uh-huh. All right, I'll meet you there at that time. Yes. Yes, I'll come alone, I promise. Yes, what if he's there. responsible for all of this? Da -da -da. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Maybe that was the inspiration to create the mask. I don't think so. Yeah, so when I first watched this, I didn't know Roger Delgado was in it. And oh, wow, wow. And I sent, as soon as he came up, I recognised him and sent Jamie a message. Oh my god, look who's in this! <laughs> If I remember correctly, as usual, it took me a bit of time to figure out. Well, he doesn't look very. He doesn't look. You, you wouldn't recognise him instantly. Yeah. I didn't. It was like the voice, and I was like, "Is that? Is that? Is that? Is that? Is that?" Is that? Uh, yeah. Something uh, is gonna happen. Oh. oh. The keys Ooh, are that's alive. a nice shot. Yeah. No. I said when you came in, you had to say. That's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> Oh, look over there at that man, he's got a real sad face. This is the night. 
like the satellites attacked. Under the influence of something from outside the Earth. Yes. The things come in what appear to be meteorites. Contact with them produces violent infection. Ten minutes ago, I became the victim of one. No, friend, I can't. I can't. Are you getting this? Subjugation to the intention of the thing is widespread. It's given rise to the production of a, a protected colony at a place called Winnerden Fence. It's not synthetic food. It's, it's the recreation of a world 800 million miles away. They're coming at this moment in thousands. We're going to make of it. I know what we're going to do. Frank, it's, it's true, I tell you, it's true. I've seen them. Frank, I, I got hold of what I wanted to bring it back. And it, oh. it, it went to nothing in my hand after this. At least he's got some protective gear. Yeah. Safety first. <laughs> um, what was so not appropriate for children about that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to the last one, yeah. I think they probably just thought at the end of the last one, we should probably put it on this now. I don't know. I mean, wasn't it? Did you see that credit, Stephen Taylor? Yes. Sir. It was one of the actors. <laughs> don't know who even catch the character. The end of the that was a fantastic episode. Yeah, that's that's what it's so far, I'd say. So five frenzy at nine p.m. Was it always 9 p.m.? I don't know. I don't think so. It's getting better. Mm. It's pick, it picks up as it goes along. It yeah, builds up yeah, really, yeah, really nicely, yeah. I think. <laughs> I mean, that's not to say it wasn't intriguing from the start, but it just sort of gets a bit more involving yeah. later on. Yeah, I think it's paced really perfect for me. It's sure. the exact pace that I like. Sure. I mean... Yeah, me, me personally, I think you do with me a you make quicker in the beginning. Sure. Like, not not too much, but, you know, uh, yeah, maybe if it was like, I don't know, eh, uh, I'm not sure. It, it's fine as it is, it's, you know, you know. Not on this is. one. <laughs> and yet this has more violence yeah, look at this. than any of them. I mean, it's not very detailed, but you can tell. Yeah, they put it on because episode 3 and episode 4 was okay. They thought, oh, we'll remove it for part 5. <laughs> <laughs> and then part 5 was really violent again. Yeah. <laughs> Science even got to go, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it is. Well, it's because well, got to was sort of more particularly now, particularly the Tom Baker era that we're at right now. Mm. It's not very sciencey. No, it, it's more of a sort of family all ages kind of thing. I guess well, most ages. It is uh, 12 to 19, and then 21. <laughs> Specifically, you can't be 20. I'm working alone. 
music while you were. I had it whenever the tonight shift. Oh, put the jazz back on. <laughs> it fits surprisingly well. It did, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It makes you seem almost like four like. Yeah, I can see the connection. Folly to that. Door open. I'll believe my own eyes. Something Would you believe it? Probably. Believe quite a man. Yeah. Probably. Although I'm if not sure I'd even end up in a job like that. Uh, no. Um I guess if I was there maybe. I don't know if no, seem, I don't know if I would. I mean, how could you fake something like that? Fake what? He's not showing them anything, that's the whole point. He's told them. He's told them. Exactly. That's what they're saying. You've just got your word for it. I tried to stop him. You mean? Mac? The others? The wrong men too, they, they must have taken them and used them to block the pipe. They have jammed in the pipe? Now they believe. The human pulp! Yeah, have any questions about that now? Well, no, 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 of course, you believe it. How did this not get it? Surely must have, you know, said, you know, this isn't a kid's show, this is... A I don't think it was advertised. Well, it was shown at 9pm, wasn't it? Uh, just after, after the watershed. Here come the murders again. Who's this? Oh, is that Conrad? No. Oh, is it? No, I think it's just worker. John Dillon. Come back. Yes, back. The rocket base is under our control. Back with all the marks. Just wondering what happened. Mm. Wow. Ooh. Designer Stephen Taylor. Ah, designer. That was an intense episode. The most intense one by far. Ooh. I think we kind of have to watch episode 6, The Destroyers, which will be transmitted next Saturday at 8pm. Oh, right. An hour earlier, because people will be more desperate to see <laughs> what happens. <laughs> so... I think I need a drink. Okay. Yeah. Ah, you run out. <laughs> did they? Wait. Did, did they use this in experiment? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Nigel. Infected construction workers. And did they say that all fun? Yes, I think it was implied that they all blew up. Wow. Oh, it's really well lit. They storm their way right. So moody, very well directed. Yeah. I'd love to it be like restored quality. Yeah, that'd be so good. And finally, well, as I similarly suggested, we should do a remake of this. Oh, it's it's never as good as possible. Yeah. The same music and everything. Can you know use the same script. Just do it exactly the same. Yeah, we just more technically, you know, today. Mm. And it could be a black and white. Yeah. I mean not that we can.
you know, we don't quite have the <laughs> means to. I'm still on my phone. <laughs> You could record the footage on your phone. But the danger is not yeah. far, but Please clear the firing base. This is Grand Controller speaking. Please clear the firing base. Check your Chris? Oh, All was... points, please. From Two Black Cybermen. From Planet being. of the Spiders. From Bastards of Death. Okay, yeah. yeah Viner. Yeah. John Viner. I yes, think. okay, that makes Rolling sense. Rolling platform, clear the firing base. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see. Control. The helmet is a bit, uh. All set. A bit of a board. Um, how does that look better than most early Doctor Who? <laughs> Man. They didn't explode. 20, 22, 24. <laughs> Thank goodness. Confirm. Over. Can you imagine if it did then? <laughs> it, just, it just ended on the explosion and then the credits started. <laughs> oh, that's so much like one of the Thunderbirds taking on. I don't know, I can't think which one. Maybe one or two or three or. I believe one of the sons, completely unrelated, I believe one of the sons of Jerry Anderson All right, so far. writes for Doctor Who, like the big finish. Hmm. I think so. no, I think that's no. correct. Maybe that's? All attention must be under control now. Leo, tell me I'm making a mistake. The course is correct. Present position within 14 degrees, 456. Leo, when did it happen? Now, would a gun actually work in a vacuum? Never really thought about it. I don't know. Somebody tell me. Did it not work in the water? No. Or did it? I wouldn't have thought so. so. No. That's why in Thunderball they have harpoons. Yeah. But in Half Life 2, you can use the pistol in the water. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but not any of the other. Well, Half Life 2, you can do it, so you must be able. <laughs> well, you can't, you can't use the SMG or anything else. In the water. Oh, God. I guess you can in the Quake Max. Oh, the, the, the knockback flew him off. Oh. Oh. There you go. <laughs> oh, no, Leo. Yeah, but he was under influence of he was. the evils. Of the evil evils. He was, he was gone a long time ago. There was no gravity! <laughs> it was the reason! Leo, can you hear? He's spinning, it's not gonna happen. Oh, I'd hate that's awful. Yeah. That's why you don't be an astronaut. <laughs> All the kids who say, when I grow up, I want to go to space. You don't. No, you really don't. You want to watch it from Earth. Oh. Uh oh, here we go. Whew. Very unsettling. <laughs> Come on, Wait, Bernie. Why are you receiving me? I'm going to separate the true section from the nuclear stage and fire at the last chemical notepad. Oh, 
Wow, that was a... That was quite something. <laughs> wow. And, th and this is the earliest surviving BBC drama. Man, if, if the rest, if whatever else they broadcast was this good, then the BBC need to get on with more DVD releases. I mean, it started off a bit slow. It, it took just it took builds some, and builds. Yeah, it took some tension. time to really grab me, but once it did, it's like, yeah, that was really good. It's I mean, so worth it. Yeah, I agree. Probably want to watch it again sometime. Hmm. Well, I watched it the first time not that long ago, like maybe about two months, two three months. No, sure, three or four months ago, and it's just as good the second time round. Absolutely incredible storytelling. Yeah. Really well made as well. Yeah, massive improvement over the experiment, which was very, as you said, uh, stage-like. Yeah. Sort of. But this actually did remind me, well, I mean, obviously the whole reason we're watching it is because it inspired Doctor Who, but, like, it was on that same level of quality. All the, you know, all the big, you know, the locations and everything, and just the directing and like the camera work and the same director and everything was the first one pretty much the same okay career. sure well yeah they definitely really you know it felt unrestricted they just felt like they did you know they reached the maximum potential of it and it was yeah yeah really good so let's uh, got some interesting things on the Wikipedia article about this okay that I think you might be interested in so, Greater Mass 2 comprised six half hour episodes transmitted live from Studio G, live as in, Studios, as in performed live. As it was being recorded, as it broadcast. was being. No <laughs> way! So. That's insane! And it's the same with the, as the first one. So, that everything in the studio is performed live, everything out on location is pre filmed and inserted at the correct time. When Gosh! They it. Wow, that is really. That is cool. That I mean, I mean, aside from certain like, uh, the, yeah, there were quite a few blunders, you know, with some of the actors. But like, it gives it. I think it adds to the tension. Sometimes it did. So sometimes it did, especially uh, for Bernard at the end. I think. Yeah. I think that worked. He's such a good actor, isn't he? Yeah, John Robinson. I mm. think it was. Is he? I hope he's in the pit. <laughs> no, he's not. I told you, he's different in each one. Every time? Yes! Oh, oh. I like this one. <laughs> I don't even remember what the first one was like. <laughs> he was good too. Okay, each, I'm sure he was good. Each episode was rehearsed on the Monday to Friday before transmission at Mansurg Woodall Boys Club. And then camera rehearsed in studio for most of the day on Saturday before being broadcast on the Saturday evening. Wow. Yeah, I actually have props to them. The fact they were able to incredible. turn in something pretty great. Not every scene was performed live because of the increased budget. £7,500 wow, so was spent on the serial. Nearly double the amount of the Quatermass experiment. Well, it shows. Cartier, the director, was able to include a large proportion of pre-filmed inserts on film which were included during the live transmission of each episode. Uh, the location film sequences were the most ambitious that had been attempted in British television drama. Mm -hmm. The next Quatermass series is something I'd like to watch, but also I'm, I want to see what else the BBC were doing at this time. I want to go as... I'm going to... I'm going to collect the entire anthology of BBC series. I don't know what else is it from this time, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, British television audience had doubled since the Quatermass experiment had wow. been shown in 1953, and the viewing figures were accordingly higher. The serial gained 7.9 million viewers for its first three episodes, which I believe is higher than pretty much all of the like Peter Capaldi's run. <laughs> this uh, over 60 years ago. Wow. It raised throughout. It, it kept building, get, got a higher audience as it went on. So yeah. 8.3 for the fourth and fifth, 9 million for the finale. Wow. One letter received by the production team before the transmission of episode 5 
came from a woman who was concerned that she would never find out what happened in the end, as the week before the final episode's transmission, she was due to move to Ireland oh. to spend the rest of her life in a convent. She wondered if the BBC could write to her and let her know how the story resolved. <laughs> After some debate, Nigel Neal decided that it was genuine and allowed Cartier to send a reply outlining the storyline's conclusion. Gosh. Following episode 6, some viewers wrote in to BBC concerned at Quatermass's survival as he wasn't shown to return to Earth successfully. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's completely true. Yeah, they should have had like one shot. But yeah, it's all right. He gets the, home. <laughs> shows the rocket. Or bring the narrator back. And say and so, Quatermass made it home safely. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Some sci-fi fans have speculated that the Quatermass series in general and Quatermass Two in particular, with its elements including a conspiracy of silence in the government concerning extraterrestrial life, secret government facilities for alien use and the silencing of any critics who oppose the government's plans influenced the successful American series, The X-Files. Neil mm. was invited to write for The X-Files, but declined. Other genre productions that have been compared with the serial include the 1970 Doctor Who story, Spare from Space. Yes. The serial features an entity falling to Earth in a meteorite shower, a factory taken over for the growth of the alien creature, and governmental institutions being infiltrated by the servants of the aliens. Yeah. And I just want to say as well, I mean, obviously you can see the inspiration that it had on Spearhead, but, like, in Spearhead's case, uh, it, they didn't just copy it. You no. Know, I wouldn't say that they're very similar. They have some parts that are, that you can tell are kind of similar, but but they're both very different and, you know, work really well on their own. But, you know. So, are you a Quatermass? Um, uh, I think it's safe to say that you really like that. (laughs) You could say. I'll know for sure once we finish the entire franchise. Interestingly, Quatermass 2, this one, is the one that's often considered not as good as the Quatermass Experiment and Quatermass in the Pit. This third one, which is known for particularly being really good. (laughs) So this was the worst (laughs) of the three. Well, I mean, obviously, Experiment barely survived, unfortunately, yeah. which I'll never forgive the BBC for. Never forgive them. <laughs> Listening? Would you rather have Quatermass Experiment returned or some of Patrick's Doctor Who? <laughs> That's an evil question. <laughs> oh, yeah, because most of them were. Oh, I don't know. Or, I mean, or William's Doctor Who. Yeah. I mean, 12 part Dalek story. You don't have to answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we'll see. I don't know. Do you want to do Quite Mass in the Pit next or return to, to Doctor Who? Uh, you will find out next week. Oh, okay. 